Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and if you want to learn how to enable Volt on your unsupported Google Pixel devices which include the Google Pixel 6, the Pixel 6a, the Pixel 6 Pro, the Google Pixel 7 and the Google Pixel 7 Pro then that is what we are going to do in this video. Now all the relevant links which we are going to use in this video are in the description of this video. A few important things to note that the developer of this enabling the volt or the pixel volt patch has done it for one carrier however the method is reported to be working on other carriers as well however there is no guarantee that it is going to work for you the other thing is once people have updated to the february patch it seems to have been disabled and you have to repeat the steps once again and some people lose it after a reboot so those are some of the things which you need to keep in mind before we continue with the actual process now the first thing you will need to do is install and set up shizuku we are going to show you how to do that without access to a computer by using the wireless debugging method and then you have to install an apk which is this pixel volt patch and then press a button reboot your device a few times and you should be good to go the first thing we need to do is we need to enable developer options on our google pixel device which is powered by google tensor so you will go into settings then you will go into about phone once you are in about phone you have to scroll down and at the end you will see something called build number tap on this seven times if you have a pin or password set up you have to enter your pin and then you will get a toast notification that you are now a developer now we can go back go into system you will see something called developer options and it is enabled by default next thing we need is shizuku now where do you find shizuku well all you have to do is go to the play store and here then you search for shizuku once you do that the application is going to show up and we are going to install it once the application has installed successfully we are going to open it now at this point make sure you are connected to a wi-fi network because that is something which is needed to start off shizuku on your pixel device without having access to a computer and without using adb so we are actually using wireless adb over here so herein we are going to select pairing in this section which says start via wireless debugging and then because with android 13 you need to explicitly provide an application access to send you notifications we are going to let shizuku send us notifications and then we can go back now once we are back it is telling us all the steps so what do we need to do tap on developer options it will take you to developer options here in next up swipe up and go to your recents then tap on the settings icon over here and say split top then for the bottom one we are going to choose shizuku now on the developer options window we are going to scroll down and usb debugging got disabled so we're going to enable usb debugging once we have enabled usb debugging we are going to enable wireless debugging and then say always allow on this network and say allow then tap on wireless debugging scroll down and say pair device with pairing code so here is the pairing code now once you do this you are going to get a notification so if i swipe down on my notification shade it is telling me that pairing service found enter pairing code so our code is 428467 so i'm going to select this and enter the code and then we can tap on this enter option over here and we are now getting the message that pairing was successful you can start shizuku service now so now we can go back to our shizuku application and tap on start and once you click on start your shizuku should change to shizuku is running now in some cases you tap on start and nothing happens it says that it is searching for wireless debugging what do you do then well you go into settings you go into system you go into developer options and then you 
disable this toggle and then enable it back that should make sure that the service is back up and running when you go back into the shizuku application if that also does not fix it then unfortunately you'll have to pair it again so you'll go into settings system developer options and then tap on the wireless debugging option and here then you will see that paired devices mine is working absolutely fine and it says over here shizuku so you can tap on the settings and forget it and then pair it one more time after you reboot your device once so we now have shizuku set up running working like a boss on our google pixel over here powered by google tensor running android 13. the next thing we need is the pixel volt patch which has been released and you will land on a page like this once you click the link in the description of this video so this is a github page if the assets section is not expanded make sure you expand it and then we need to download this apk once you select the apk it is going to give you a warning that the file might be harmful we are going to say download anyway now once the file has downloaded successfully the next thing we need to do is we need to install this apk so we will go into the default files application which we have on our google pixel over here then you can go into apps and here and go into app installs and you will see this pixel volt enabler apk which we just downloaded select this and it may tell you that hey you need to let the file manager application install apks enable the toggle and then select install now once the application has installed successfully this is the app over here pixel ims and the next thing we're going to do is open this application now it will by default ask for access to shizuku because the service is running in the background so we're going to say allow all the time now once you do that you will notice all these toggles over here in green unfortunately me i do not have a sim in this device but it will tell you sim detected and then this enable volt button on the bottom left is also going to be enabled so you need to tap on that and then once that is done you need to reboot your device a few times and then eventually when you come back to this application it will tell you that volt has been enabled by config so this toggle which is grayed out right now will be in green and the other toggle of system utilizing volt will also be in green once you have enabled volt successfully on your unsupported google pixel device now there is another way to check whether volt is being used or not so you go into the dialer application here and you type the code star hash star hash 4636 hash star hash star once you do that you will be on a menu like this here and you go into phone information now once you are on phone information you tap on the three dot menu on the top right and select ims service status so if your volt was enabled successfully on your unsupported google pixel then your ims registration will show up as registered and voice over lte will show up as available and there it is peeps that is how you enable volt on your unsupported google pixel devices which include the google pixel 6 the google pixel 6 pro the pixel 6a the pixel 7 and the google pixel 7 pro